it's important to begin from the right definition of the problem. And I do think there are differences about that. If your view, like my view, is that the problem right now is that Congress is not enabling bargaining and accommodation, then what you're looking to do are not ways of empowering very narrow majorities to get their way and run over large, durable minorities. In other words, you're not trying to get rid of the filibuster. I think that's not the way to think about what's wrong with Congress. That's a way to turn Congress into a European legislature, which isn't really going to work in our system. The problem we're having is that Congress is not finding it possible to reach accommodations across party lines on major governing issues. So why is that? One important reason for that is that Congress has come to function more as an arena of expression, you might say, than an arena of contention. It's a place where members put on a show for TV cameras very often, rather than a place where they engage one another directly. And I think our election system is one important reason for that. A lot of members get elected in very safe partisan districts where their main worry is a primary challenge in their own party. And so their main audience in Congress is a small, devoted, often uh, partisan and dogmatic part of a uh, minority of their constituents back home. And so we need to think about ways to enable members both to build coalitions within their parties and across parties, and to enable members to think about the broader range of voters that they can speak to.